latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Cynthia Newsom with your 41 Action News update. As we wait to hear the final results of who wins this presidential election, people here in the Metro are expressing their feelings. There ain't been an election like this and I'm 60 years old. I don't remember in my lifetime having an election like this, okay? That's my biggest fear. Are, are we gonna start burning stores? Are we gonna start doing, you know, the riots? And Because I think no matter who wins, on whichever side. So whatever win, whatever, I don't know. This is what it is. As soon as we get new results, we'll let you know right away. Make sure you download the 41 Action News app and we'll send you a push alert. Well, Kansas had record-breaking voter turnout this election. More than 290,000 ballots were cast in Johnson County during the 2016 presidential election. And this year, that figure jumped by more than 39,000. Voter turnout was more than 70 percent. Kansas' six electoral votes went to President Trump, but in Johnson County, Biden held an eight-point margin over the president. Johnson County also went blue in the U.S. Senate race. Voter turnout in Wyandotte County was also high. 70% of eligible voters cast their ballots. Your forecast is next. Considerably more cloudy today than what we had for Tuesday, but still pretty darn nice outside with high temperatures in the lower to middle 70s. Some gusts up to 25 miles per hour not possible or are possible rather. Temperatures tonight dropping down to the upper 40s to near 50. The winds will begin to let up a little bit and skies will clear out in time for Thursday and Friday. Mostly sunny skies there. High temperatures in the 70s. Chance of rain on Tuesday. Get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.